Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm really, really excited to show you a brand new batch of some private stock items, including some Shell Cordovan baseballs. Everything that we're about to look at in the video will be available on our website tomorrow, that's July 1st, and we're gonna try to launch these at 1 p.m. Central Time. For tomorrow's private stock event, we have some Shell Cordovan baseballs, I have several Shell Cordovan wallets, and we also have some key accessories. You'll be able to find everything on the website, ashlandleather.com, under the private stock tab. Again, that's at 1 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. So let's look at this. This one first here. This is a shell cordovan baseball. This is something that we have not made in a long time. It's actually pretty challenging for us to produce these shell cordovan baseballs. They're actually a little bit squishy also, so we find these to be a good option for a desk toy. Something to maybe relieve a little bit of stress, just squeeze this ball in the middle of a tough work day. This one is made of some really cool marbled black shell cordovan. I'm noticing it's kind of difficult for me to show the actual color of this ball with the sphere here and the light hitting it. it sort of just looks very glary, but this marbled black shell cordovan has a really nice color range from this golden tan shade down to a little bit more of a darker more forest green. I forgot to mention everything is being served today on some holiday picnic plates and this is for 4th of July. This is our 4th of July private stock sale. Next baseball we're going to look at is Garnet Shell Cordovan with Black Shell Cordovan. I really like the Chicago Bulls colors here and here's a really really great one. This is some marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan with some epic texture to it. See that texture? On the side here, it's almost like zebra stripes, but sort of that orangey tan to a little bit more of a violet color range, a little bit more magenta. And then we have reverse shell cordovan for the second baseball pattern piece. Here's another really cool baseball, green shell cordovan this time with reverse green shell cordovan. Another garnet shell cordovan ball here with reverse garnet shell cordovan, of course, featuring that Horween ink stamp for all the reverse pieces. And last but not least, this is something that we don't really do. This is a gold foil stamp on some black shell cordovan and gold and black look really, really great together. So we have Ashland Leather, our logo on this side, and adjacent on the back side of the ball, we have the Horween Shell Cordovan gold foil stamp. All right, we're gonna slide in the uh, second, second course here today. First up from the second course, check this out. Frank the Enforcer with reverse green shell cordovan. And on this reverse green shell cordovan, we have some really interesting green dye splatter. And the other thing that's extra special about this particular piece is that it has been hand stitched with two different thread colors and we alternate that stitch for each of these. It's a little bit like a mint green with a brown that plays perfectly against the reverse green shell cordovan. The colors in those die marks match really nicely to the thread color. Up next, we have a fan favorite design. This is our Bugs Moran design, but we have vertical card slots on the inside. So we have two card slots on the left, there are two on the right, and then hidden card slots underneath each of those. A lot of people prefer the look of this design, but we also make a classic version that's just called the Bugs Moran. On the outside of this one, this is natural latigo, and I should say natural latigo on the inside all also, I really love the combination tanned characteristic of the natural latigo. If you're not familiar with combination tanned, this is the best of both worlds. So it's chrome tanned, so it's extra strong, heat resistant, and durable, but then it's also vegetable retan. So we have all the tree barks of the veg retan to give us really great aging characteristics. So this starts off very light, sort of like a natural skin color, and then it gets a little bit darker, a little bit more golden brown. Up next, another vertical card slot bugs Moran. And this one is Western Black Shell Cordovan on the exterior and interior. In interior, we have hand stained black edges, which I think look really great. One more vertical card slot bugs to show you. This is extra special. This is Western Whiskey Shell Cordovan, which is an absolute tongue twister. Try saying that 10 times fast. The Whiskey Shell Cordovan is a really great golden brown shade, a little bit darker than the natural shell cordovan. And then when you press that Western texture into the shell, it sort of sets off the color range. You can see much more depth of color in the whiskey shell. So it's a little bit darker, a little bit more brown at some angles, and then other angles, more of these golden yellow tones come out. And again, this one has vertical card slots on the inside and then a waxed and burnished edge. Here's a fun prototype that has quickly become very popular for a lot of people. This is what we're calling the Capone Fox. So it's kind of like 
our Capone money clip. Similar pattern pieces, it is slightly different, a little bit longer than our normal Capone money clip. We have the exterior card slots on this particular prototype. On the inside, we have the same card slots as the Capone money clip. The big difference here is instead of using that piece of hardware, the spring bar money clip to hold your cash inside, we decided to make this one with a bill slot in the back. Now, this was an idea that Skip Horween had to do this bill slot on our money clip. And he also really likes this concept of an open side on the bill slot for this design. And this is to make it a little bit easier to access and input cash into the back of this one. The other thing to mention about this piece, this is built for patina. This is actually reverse amaretto shell cordovans. If you look inside the wallet, it's all amaretto shell on the inside of the bill slot. All right, really great pieces coming up here. This is a tall Tony the Ant in an incredible piece of tumbled marble shell cordovan. I'm not really sure what this piece of leather is, but it is exceptional. And it sort of feels how it looks. It definitely has a pebble feel to it as well as that visual texture. So I certainly know that this is a tumbled piece of shell cordovan, but I can't tell if it's marbled or like a psychedelic shell. But either way, it kind of looks like cigar shell cordovan on the outside. And here's a look at the inside. This definitely looks like tumbled marbled cigar to me, where we sort of had that pumpkin-y orange sort of harvest color with some browns on the inside of this wallet. And what I love about the Tall Tony the Ant is we have all shell on the outside as well as all shell on the inside. Another Tall Tony the Ant to look at. Check this one out. This is extra nice. Tumbled blue shell cordovan, which is by far the most vibrant blue piece of shell uh, that I've seen. When they tumble the leather, and even when they press it, sometimes more of that vividness of color comes out just a little bit more. So this one has a really great aqua blue to it very very nice and then the tumbling pattern sort of gives it that ripple effect like looking at waves on the ocean kind of thing this is a really cool piece take a look at the inside we have something a little bit different here this is tumbled verdigris shell cordovan a little bit more green color sitting on top of more tumbled blue shell on the center a couple more tony the ants to look at this one really struck me when i was taking some photographs of it this is reverse color eight shell cordovan with some epic dye splatter and this one has been hand glazed so you can see it's got a little bit of a different sheen compared to the other reverse color eight shell cordovan that you might normally see this one is a really really sleek look that we've sort of hand finished uh, to give you that mild luster a little bit more of a subtle sheen on top of these really intense dye splatter marks and that is probably the coolest piece of reverse color eight that i've ever seen i can't stop looking at it here's a look at the inside where we have more reverse color eight shell cordovan for the card holders and then the classic traditional color eight shell cordovan in the center one more really really special piece here uh, another tony the ant i should say because there's plenty more special pieces this is my favorite shell cordovan color on the tony the ant so amaretto shell cordovan and this is a remarkable piece of amaretto shell. Just take a look at that bright, shiny, glassy luster. Some of the nicest leather that I've ever seen right here. And there's a piece of chrome excel coming up later in the video that's perhaps the nicest piece of chrome excel that I've seen in my 16 years of uh, leather experience here. So amaretto shell on the outside, remarkable piece. And I love this combination on the inside. You might have heard me talk before about doing reverse interiors. Now this also works. As long as the two pieces of leather touching each other are not shell rubbing against shell, I think you're gonna get a better result of polishing it in. So the shell, when it rubs against itself, will scuff and scratch, but the reverse side of the shell cordovan is not as microscopically abrasive as the shell side. So I like this option also for wearing for the interior of a wallet, at least have one piece be a reverse. All right, third course, let's slide in some key buddies. This is our keychain belt clip and we have several different colors to offer you today. So this is Western Violet Shell Cordovan. Somebody in the shop here was pointing out to me today that they loved how my key buddy is wearing in. So this is the clip from my actual keys and this is a color eight shell Cordovan uh, key buddy that I have just worn hard. I haven't polished this at all. It's wearing in great. This is also wearing in very nicely. This piece of antique brass for this little clip here. It's got this really great sort of scuffed up look. And when you compare it 
to a new one. Like we were just looking at the uh, Western Violet Shell. It's much more smooth. So this one also develops a nice patina. I got another key buddy to show you. This one is a really cool piece of raw Violet Shell Cordovan. And we do have some raw Violet Shell Cordovan available as well as raw natural and raw denim. The raw natural and denim are more often seen when compared to this raw Violet. But all the raw shells start off this really interesting luster. It's got a subtle sheen to it, but it's not nearly as bright and shiny as a normal piece of shell cordovan. And the interesting thing about it is this gives you plenty of room to develop your own patina. So all the shell cordovan, including the raw shell, develop to be a really bright, shiny luster, as well as the color will get a little bit darker and more deep. Moving along here to our next color, this is green shell cordovan. I noticed this one was kind of difficult for me to capture in the photos, but this is a really great piece of green shell. It has a really nice, vibrant shade to it. Definitely not black at all. And this one has some creased edges along the side, sort of cleans it up just a tiny bit. Another green piece here, but this is actually the reverse side of black shell cordovan. And this particular piece of reverse black shell is a little bit more pale olive, and it's a little bit more dark than some of the black reverse pieces that we normally see. Here's another great one, marbled black shell cordovan. I actually made a couple of these. The marbled black shell is really great. It sort of has a color range from that orange sort of harvest color we were talking about earlier, and it fades down into a little bit more forest green, and it has a subtle gradient of color in between each of those. Two more colors to look at. This is my second favorite shell color. This is color number four shell cordovan. It's a medium brown with reddish undertones. And this particular one is almost like a darker whiskey. So speaking of whiskey, whiskey in my left hand here, definitely more of a golden brown color, a little bit more yellow to it, especially when you compare it to this color number four shell cordovan. Of course, number four is here. We've got some watch straps, it looks like. Let's start off here first with this watch band. This is actually a belt weight thickness of English Tan Dublin for our Apple Watch Band. This particular one has some extra special details. You might see these keepers here look to be a little bit of a different color. These keepers are actually reverse color number eight shell cordovan. And I actually wore one of these belt weight thickness watch bands, uh, the same exact thing, this Apple Watch Band I wore for a long time. Just recently, I switched over to this black one with some uh, yellow stitching, which is also very fun. But this belt weight thickness, it definitely gives the vibe of the watch just a little bit of a bold, more chunky look. And check out this watch strap. This is a 22 millimeter two-piece watch strap, but this happens to be in our shorter length. So the longer adjustment side here, this is actually 105 millimeters. And the shorter length on this side, this is 75 millimeters. It's slightly smaller than most watch straps. So if you have a smaller wrist, this might be the one for you. 22 millimeters is a little bit more of a rare uh, lug width. So this might be a challenge for some people to fit on. Up next, check this out. We were talking about raw shell cordovan. This is raw natural shell cordovan. And watch me spin this around. It has a really dramatic color shift to it. See how it's very light at this angle? And then as I just spin it a tiny bit, it gets a little bit more golden. I find that to be completely fascinating. So Frank the Enforcer here in raw natural shell cordovan. We actually have a Horween shell cordovan hot stamp placed onto the back card slot. Up next, we have our Vic Snap Wallet, also in whiskey shell cordovan. And again, the whiskey shell cordovan is a little bit darker and more golden brown when compared to natural shell cordovan. A couple more minimal wallets on this plate. We've got some two-shot card cases. This one is the reverse side of Western Cigar Shell Cordovan. And that's why it sort of has this impression look, but the leather was actually pressed for the other side here, the shell side. This is the reverse side of that. In the middle here, we have Cigar Shell Cordovan. Another two shot to look at, Reverse Western Garnet Shell Cordovan. That's what the front piece is. Sitting on top of Garnet Shell Cordovan here, and then we have Garnet Shell Cordovan on the back. Another two shot to look at, this is the Green Shell Cordovan. This particular one has some green hand-stained edges, as well as green on the back. Here's a one-shot card case in a really cool piece of Brown Nut Dublin. Check out that figuring and texture on this particular piece of Dublin. It also has a really great luster to it. Probably one of the nicest pieces of Dublin here, and I feel like I've been seeing that a lot today. Here's another really cool piece on a key fob. This is the Western Texture on marbled ultraviolet shell cordovans. So a lot of adjectives to describe this particular piece, but you can see a little bit of this color range on the backside here where it goes from a little bit more of a violety sort of purple look and it fades down to a little bit more of an orangey sort of pink color. That's what we get from the marbled shell and then we put the Western texture right on top of that. One more prototype piece to show you here. This is a knife sheath and I believe this will fit a Leatherman. This one is made out of reverse green shell cordovan. Nice little thumb notch on the top. 
next up here, I've got some brand new wallet designs to show you. We don't have an official name for this wallet yet, but this is what we've been calling the Mama Wallet. We actually had our wives in mind uh, for these. So this first one here is made in natural Latigo. Again, that great combination tan leather. This is about as light of a color as it gets. And this one is really beautiful looking piece of leather. This closure right here, we've made a little bit of a modification to the last time we've done this. This is a magnetic snap. So as it comes close together, it sticks together and it holds very strongly. On the inside of this one, we have six card slots. So there are three card slots here on the left, three on the right, and then there's a larger bill compartment in the back here. You can fit notes, you can fit US dollars. In fact, this will fit all paper currency. Moving on here to another, uh, the next lightest color here. It's another natural piece, but this is natural Chrome Excel. Again, on what we're calling the Mama Wallet. This is the prototype. I'm trying to think of a gangster name for this design uh, before we officially launch it. So let me know if you have an interesting uh, gangster name for this wallet. So this is a really cool design because it has natural Chrome Excel everywhere you look. This flap here goes all the way around the back of the wallet and then it continues up to the front. And that same piece of leather on the top here is the same as the bottom piece here. And then we lined it with another piece of Chrome Excel. So there's a lot of leather in this wallet design. So it has a very nice heft to it, but we've been choosing thinner leathers for this particular model. Up next is another one of the Mama prototypes. This is Black Dublin. And this particular piece of Dublin has exceptional grain character, as most of the Dublin has. Very fine detail and a very great veg character to all pieces of Dublin leather. And here's another Dublin. Dublin piece on that mama wallet. And this is the English Chan Dublin, our most popular leather and color. This is the same leather and color that we use on the Giant of the Fox. So that will look very familiar for these card slots. And again, English Chan Dublin, a really nice, vibrant, orangey tan shade. But there's also another tan leather that Horween offers. And it's been a favorite of mine for many years. This is another color called Chicago Tan. So it's pretty similar to the English Tan Dublin on my right. Chicago Tan here on the left has a little bit more red to it. It's almost like a reddish tan shade. Very, very interesting color. So we've got another one here. This is very, very thin compared to some of the other Mama wallets that we just looked at. And we have more of that Chicago Tan on the interior. Last up here, I'm very excited to show you this piece. This is the nicest piece of Chrome Excel that I have ever experienced. And I've seen a lot of Chrome Excel over the last 16 years. Check out the luster on this piece. It's very glassy smooth and has an incredibly rich feel. Again, nicest Chrome Excel that I have ever seen. Take a look at the inside of this one. We have that same magnetic closure on all of these, but on the inside of this, we have more of this Chrome Excel. So here's another story about the color of this Chrome Excel. This color we're gonna be calling Timber Chrome Excel. It's a little bit lighter and has a little bit more of this orangey sort of red tan pull-up colors in it, especially when you compare that to our more popular brown Chrome Excel. A little bit more vibrance in the undertones of this Timber Chrome Excel. All right, moving on to the last plate, our final course, we've got some Giant of the Foxes here. Check this out. Cobalt Blue Dublin. This is another fan favorite leather and color. A little bit more of this aqua blue for the undertone, the pull-up color of this Cobalt Blue Dublin. On the inside, this is really cool. We've got Cobalt Blue Dublin with natural Latigo, and they're alternating back and forth. I have another one of those alternating interiors to show you here. This one is a little bit different though, where we have alternating natural Latigo with color number four Latigo. And these are horse hide color number fours here. So it's a little bit more grain texture. It's very, very different than the exterior. This is color number four shell cordovan on the exterior of this wallet. And let me compare it to that color four horse hide on the inside. You can see the color four shell cordovan, very, very glassy, very, very bright and smooth and shiny. It's a little bit different than this horse hide, which has a little bit more texture and a little bit more uh, range of color to it. One more Johnny the Fox to look at. This is a very cool piece. Scotch grain color number eight shell cordovan is a very interesting texture that again brings out a lot of the different colors in the shell itself. So some angles, this scotch grain color eight, a little bit more burgundy and red, but as I spin it around, it's a little bit more of a darker brown, which is very, very cool. And you can see on the edges of this one, we've got a hand stained edge along with some special stuff on the inside. More scotch grain shell cordovan, but this is black scotch grain on top of 
smooth traditional black shell cordovan and that is on top of color number eight shell cordovan in the centerpiece here we have more black scotch grain so this is a fun color combination black and color eight with some scotch grain texture up next this is actually an irregular it's something we don't normally do for a private stock so we're calling it private stock irregular this is reverse cigar shell cordovan on top of cigar shell this was just too cool for me to not offer uh to in today's drop to help celebrate uh independence day here this one's an irregular because there's some very small scuffs and scratches and I'll try to focus in on it. If you take a look here, these little scratches almost underneath the bill slot here, that's why this one is an irregular. It's just not up to our normal standards and that's not able to be polished out. On the inside of this fat Herbie, we have more reverse cigar shell cordovan and this one has some epic splatter to it. Very interesting color on the reverse cigar. It almost has like a greenish color to it. Here we have another fan favorite color and some of the nicest shell uh, that we've ever seen. Again, garnet shell cordovan here. If you've been watching the videos for a while, we bought a lot of garnet shell cordovan a while ago because it was very, very nice. The feel and the sheen of this leather is exceptional, so we bought a ton of it. I think we're running a little bit low, but this private stock fat herbie here was made out of that really special garnet shell cordovan. You can see the waxiness to it, my fingers sort of leaving these little smudges in there. That's something that will be very easily polished out with just a very light brushing. Sort of bring back all that luster in the shell itself. On the inside, we also have more garnet shell cordovan. This is the most red color that Horween makes. And this actually used to be called color number two shell cordovan. So if you're familiar with color number eight, color four, this is one more step lighter than both of those. Another fat Herbie to look at. This one is another great texture on some color number eight shell cordovan. Again, color eight is a dark brown and burgundy shade. You can see it's very, very different than the, than the garnet shell cordovan that we just looked at. The undertones of color eight shell are more of like an ox blood, very like dark cherry almost. And then it has a darker, more uh, dark brown sort of surface color to it. This is a texture called hatch grain. It's a very interesting texture that's very popular among a lot of people. I think this is also known as a box board texture. On the inside of this one, we have reverse color number eight shell cordovan. And two more items to look at. This is a really cool piece of leather. Something that we used to offer very frequently. This is actually a leather called Derby. It's very, very, very similar to the Horween Dublin leather. The only difference between Dublin and Derby is that the derby leather is tumbled. That's why you get all this little bits of pebbling and all that really interesting sort of bursted effect of a, a different color range and a little bit of a texture range. That's from the tumbling action in the wooden drums. So again, English tan derby this time, veg tan leather with a waxy surface, and then it's been tumbled. On the inside of this, this is our passport holder. And of course I have it upside down. We like to put the passport, I put it on this side, but you can also fit your passport underneath this section. There's two card slots on the left. And of course that incredible English tan derby leather inside and out. And last but not least for 4th of July private stock, check this piece out more tumbled marbled shell cordovan and this is a really interesting piece i'm not really sure what color marbling this is it's almost like a little bit of blue it's got like a little bit of this tan look to it and some green in between it's i, I can't really tell what it is it might be psychedelic shell almost but tumbled a little bit very, very cool piece of leather and a really bright, shiny luster. That tumbling does open up the shell a little bit. This particular piece of tumbled shell is not as pebbled up and velvety as some of the other ones. It has a little bit of less of that tumbled texture and it's really, really neat. Take a look at the inside here. Again, upside down, of course, tumbled shell cordovan left and right, a little bit more brown on the inside here. But what I really like about this one, other than that beautiful piece of tumbled shell, on the left and right here is this middle piece in the center. So it's almost like a yin yang thing with the Horween logo in the center. We've got a little bit more of a reddish tan on top and a little bit more of a greenish tan on the bottom. So that's everything in the video. Man, so much good stuff uh, for this private stock event. I'll bring out some more baseballs here. I'm gonna pick my stunner. And actually, I think this one's my stunner right here. Uh, marbled black shell cordovan on this particular baseball. This is, some of the coolest looking leather that I've seen on a product 
uh, that's very difficult for uh, us to make. So maybe that's why I've got a, a special place for this baseball. Pretty challenging uh, to make these form just perfectly around the ball. It takes a little bit of extra effort on our part, and I'm really excited to offer them for 4th of July here. So thanks again for checking out everything in the video. Let me know what your stunner was. Let me know what you think of this new design. What should we call this one? Uh, maybe we get a lady gangster name for the, uh, the what we're calling the mama wallet right now, the working title. All right, hope you have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July, and until next time, hope you have a good one.